Hello, so my name is Luke Marshall. I'm a mechanical engineering graduate uh, from Florida State University. And this is my window uh, robot that I made. Um, and I thought I'd kind of show you uh, some of the things that I did and, and the creative thinking process that went into it and uh, tell you a little bit more about it. So um, I used an Arduino Uno, I think it, it wasn't, a knockoff because I got it on Amazon, but it's not the Arduino brand. Um, microcontroller, and I have a 14.4 volt uh, lithium ion foil pack battery in here. So we got four cells, and then I used uh, some of these uh, female headers to hook up um, all my power. Uh, so this vacuum motor came out of like one of those um, dirt devil things that had a single cell uh, lithium battery in it. And so I run the power from this foil pack into this pulse width modulated um, motor controller, which is set at about 4.2 volts uh, using this potentiometer. And then that powers the <coughs> um, fan motor. And then I also uh, run power down into uh, these motor controllers down here. And so this is the, I think, I forget, they're ubiquitous on Amazon and eBay and whatever, but the little Arduino motor controllers you can get online. And that takes in the 14.4 or about volts from this foil pack, and then it distributes it to these two gear motors. Um, with encoders attached depending on how fast I want it to go. I think the, uh, the gear motors are rated um, for 65 RPM. And so that's how that works. And then we also have a accelerometer here, which I um, mounted on top of these uh, little uh, rubber, uh, what do you call them, dampening insulators or whatever that you can get out of a, a optical CD drive from an old computer. And that actually took away a lot of the vibrations because before I put these on here, there was a lot of noise, you know, from the fan motor and the, and the wheel motors that um, <clears throat> the vibrations, you know, it would, it would cause the uh, acceleration readings to differ. And so this allows it to track uh, straight up the window, you know, so it doesn't get offside. And then you also have the encoders on each motor to help you too. Um, to help it navigate. Uh, and for the, um, uh, what do you call it, coefficient of uh, friction, uh, in order to get it to move up the window, I had a hard time figuring, uh, determining like a material that had a, a really high coefficient of, of friction, static friction on, on the window. And this is actually like that, the self-adhesive pipe repair tape. It's a, it's a silicone, like stretchy tape, and it sticks really well to glass. And so I just wrapped it around this wheel a couple times, and it actually uh, sticks quite well, and it allows the, uh, the the robot to get enough traction to move up and down the window. Um, <clears throat> I 3D printed all the parts on here uh, that you can see are 3D printed. Um, I designed them in Fusion 360, but I also have some experience working with SolidWorks. And uh, then I printed them out on my Sendo 3D printer. Um, and uh, that's, uh, I'm trying to think, that's about it. Uh, this working on the window here in a little bit. One thing that I didn't actually get to do, um, just due to time and, and the fact that I'm kind of wanting to move on now, is uh, I had initially planned to put um, limit switches on the front here so it would know when it got to the edge, but um, I'm not really... The original idea was to make a robot that could clean a window, but um, there's really no way for it to ever uh, go into manufacturing. You know, I'd have to do a complete redesign of everything, you know, if I wanted to, to try and get this made. This was really more of just a hobby of mine, and I'm uh, kind of ready to reap the rewards and move on. <laughs> All right, so here's the robot. Uh, it's all plugged in and everything. I'm gonna bring it over here to the window. Oops. And of course, wants to run off. You gotta balance it just right. There we go. 
open up the window. Turn the motor on. There she goes. Up the window. And so as you probably saw there, uh, it's still a work in progress. I've been having a little bit of trouble with the uh, the code for my um, uh, accelerometer because um, it's like it, it the way I have it written it can't receive the readings and then adjust the uh, the speed of the motors like once it adjusts the speed of the motors it stops receiving new accelerometer readings which doesn't help so I gotta figure that out but this is uh, this the current state of it and I'm I don't know, I was pretty impressed with it. So if you like it, uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Bye.